Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is your boy James from What's Your Forte, and today I'm gonna be showing you guys how I'm gonna be taking my videos to the next level with the iFootage car mount kit. All right, let's get it. All right, everyone. So this is the actual Pelican case that the Spidercraft vehicle mount system comes in from iFootage. If you are interested in anything that I mentioned in this video, it will all be linked down below. Special shout out again for iFootage for partnering with me on this video. All right, so just like any Pelican case, you got your little safety latches down here, you flop it up, and then boom, you have the actual pieces right here that we're gonna be going over one by one, all right? So as you can see, everything right here looks really good, it's packaged very well, and the presentation is super nice. So good job, I footage on that. So this actual vehicle mount kit comes with two larger suction cups, which you guys can kind of see right here. Here is one of them. So you get two of these, of the larger ones. And then you'll also get two of the smaller ones right there. All right, you're gonna get, this is right here, it's gonna be a safety harness. So when I get to put it on my car, I'll show you guys exactly what this is gonna be used for. But this is kind of like a safety harness right there, uh, just to give you some extra level of protection there. Uh, they actually have a foam mount. So this is a foam uh, foam mount holder. So you can hold your phone, so you can get some footage using your phone. If you wanna put your phone inside your car, outside your car, this is what you'll use to actually connect it to your phone. This is kind of a base plate, and I'll show you how to put this together when the time comes. And then this right here, you can actually use this to hold your camera, or it actually can hold, uh, they have like a camera mount um, or camera arm mounting system that you can use this in addition to. But this is how you, you'll, you know, your camera will go mount right in there, and then you're good to go there. So this is kind of like an additional piece you'll need. Um, these two pieces over here, they're gonna go with the safety mount um, portion. And then you also have your three spider crab arms. So these spider crab arms are, are super unique. They're pretty neat. So just to kind of show you here, as you see, they kind of have this part right here. And as you loosen it, you can kind of adjust the spider crabs however you need. You'll mount one down here, you can mount one up here. They're super adjustable. They're very well built. Uh, this, isn't any, this isn't like a plastic mount. These are like pure metal. They're very nice. Um, everything's quick release which I really like and then they have this part right here in the middle that you actually can take out so this is so let's say like you got you're in the awkward position the awkward mounting position so you could take this mount it in screw it get it tight and then just put this right over the top of it and then it'll slide right in like that as you guys just saw right there so it's pretty pretty tight pretty intuitive um, very very well built man this feels heavy duty like i have no issues about mounting my camera on this because this is super heavy duty and once you get everything locked into place tighten that down there and you are good to go and that's not going anywhere and once you tighten this down it automatically tightens these down as well so this is going to be your tightening point right here because once i tighten that you see this right here is not going anywhere and that's not going anywhere so all works in one great system man so definitely is well designed and if you're just interested in these spider crabs just to have some different mounts these are super heavy duty man i mean these things are super nice so now what I'm going to do is go ahead and set it up right here on my table first just to kind of show you guys how it looks and how you'll need to set it up, all right? All right, everyone. So I'm going to go ahead and give you a quick demo on how to set this up the quickest way as possible. These uh, suction cups come with these actual um, plastic plates on the bottom. So you can take those off so you can actually use the actual suction cups. So they just kind of pop right off as you see right there. So usually whenever you want to mount something if you want to mount it the most secure way you want to use two of the big ones and then one of the smaller mounts as you see right there so we have everything lined up right here looking really good so what i'm gonna do i know i'm gonna need three spider arms so i'm gonna go ahead and take these this part right here out as you guys see and actually put this down into the actual suction cup so as you see right there you kind of can put it down and then you can twist now i'm gonna show you something really neat about the way this is set up. So to give you some extra security, as you see, you got your two little small holes right there and a bigger hole right here. And this lines up perfectly with that. So as you go put it in there, make sure everything lines up. You can push it down 
and then once you tighten it everything is super secure I mean that's super secure all right all right so to kind of show you how the suction kind of works you want to make sure your surface is clean you want to push this down onto whatever surface it is and you'll kind of hear the air coming out and then you want to use this so you'll keep pushing this until you no longer see the gray part once you no longer see that gray part right there that's how you know it is super secure so i'm gonna try to pull this up oh. and i can't move it i can't move that and i'm i'm a pretty big guy I'm a pretty strong guy and uh i can't move that off this kitchen counter so in order to get it off of whatever surface that you actually um suction it to you kind of want to pull lift both of these edges they have these little nubs here you just kind of pull up on it and it just there it goes it releases the suction so that's kind of how it works there very very nice setup so now what i'm going to go ahead and do is put one of these on all of these and um actually attach the spider legs next all right all right everyone so as you see i have everything laid out here i have all of the quick clips um attached to the actual suction cups here so now i'm just going to kind of show you how to quickly put on the spider crab arms so as you see this part right here is is gone because it's actually hooked right here so what we're going to do zoom in a little bit just the camera so you guys can get a good look at it but just going to take this you'll put it down over the top like that you'll hear it clip in as you guys did and then once you tighten it boom you're good to go so that's how quick and easy it is to get these arms in and then once you tighten this down you'll you'll see the teeth kind of like clamp down it'll get really tight you know you're good and you're not going anywhere like i'm pulling on this pretty hard and it's not moving so there you go so now i'm gonna go ahead and set up these spider arms on the rest of these and then show you how to put together the base plate to hold the actual camera all right so as you guys can see right here all three of the arms are attached to actual suction cups so now this is kind of one of the base plates so this is actually what the actual arms is going to mount into and as you can kind of see right here it has those three holes that you saw on the bottom of the actual suction cup so it's the same mounting principle when you mount it to this so you guys kind of want to arrange it in a way that it's going to make sense uh, right as you see i'm not i don't really have this on vehicle i'm just kind of mounting it on my um, kitchen counter here just to kind of give you guys an idea on how it would work but as you guys can kind of see i'm kind of adjusting this arm here so and you can do the same principle so you can pull that up quick release that pop this in and then you can kind of put this go ahead and prematurely put it into here if you want push it down as you guys can see tighten it up boom now that i have that in there slide it in there clamp it down and now it's hooked then once i get it where i want i can kind of just lay it right here tighten this down and you're good to go and it's holding it and it's not really going anywhere and that's just one arm that's how strong that's holding it once we hook the other arms to it i know it'll be a lot stronger so let me go ahead and do that right now all right guys so i moved the angle of the camera just to give you guys a different look so you have one arm coming down this side one arm coming down that side and one arm coming down that side and you also have other holes right here so if you want to mount it in a other different type of angle maybe you don't want it in like a maybe evenly maybe you want two arms on this side one arm on that side you have that flexibility because there's holes everywhere around this so that's one good thing about this that is very flexible and you can use it for whatever needs that you may have but um this is together and you can hear my counter rocking like this thing is this thing is on like it's not going anywhere all right so now the next step is actually how you're going to get a camera on this so like i stated before you do have this piece right here that you're going to need you need to use so this is actually pretty neat to meet the design so you can twist it and then it looks like you just have to keep twisting it off but you don't have to get it all the way off like that so once you get it to a point where you can get to see a little gap you push down on this little red button right here boom quick release 
want to put it back on, quick release, put it back on, tighten it, you're good to go. So once you break it loose, quick release. So it's very, very nicely constructed. And this is metal too, just like everything else. So this is put together very nicely. All right. So what you want to do is kind of want to drop this on, on top like this. And then this is going to go underneath. And then you can kind of make sure it's level. It has a leveler right there on the top. Make sure that it's level. Once you get it level, tighten it up. And you are good to go. So that's how you know that this is level because it has that leveler there to help you out. And now everything is put together. All right. So now since we're at this point, we are ready for the next step. All right, guys. So, so you're going to have something that goes on top of this that's going to be able to hold the camera, which is what I have right here so this right here is going to be a fluid head mount um you can use the one that they have this got a design award in 2018 as you guys can see right here this is a very well constructed um, fluid head mount that you can get on top of that you can take one off a tripod that you already have so any one that will work for you is one you can use on top of this so this just kind of goes right on top of here and it just kind of screws in super simple and you're good to go so it is a fluid head and then you can lock it into place and you're good to go all right all right so after you have your fluid head mount on this you have a quick release plate that is also included um, and the fluid head mount and this is actually separate i'll be looking at down below if you're interested in the one that they make um, but um, this right here is the one that they sent out and this is just a quick release plate you can just hook this to the bottom of your camera all right so that's what a camera is going to actually be. I'm actually filming with a camera, so I'm actually not going to do that right now. But what I'm going to do, I just want to kind of show you guys how you'll put the camera on and mount it. And you can change it different angles. Um, this thing has a lot of flexibility. You see it's a fluid head, so you can move it around and then put it somewhere and then set it in a certain position if you would like. Um, so that's the one thing good about using something like this. So one other piece, as you, you guys know, you do have this other mount here. So this actual suction mount here is gonna be for your safety system. So this is the safety system I showed you guys before right here. So this is gonna be how you're gonna be able to secure it. So I'm gonna go ahead and unpackage this. All right, so, the, so right now it has this little lever right here. So you can actually pull and get the string. So you hit the little lever in here, you can pull and get the string. So how you wanna do this is you have this piece right here so that's going to go into whatever your suction mount is so suction mount has a little piece right here you can screw that into like that like so you'll put this wherever on your car you want to sec safely secure it so somewhere sometimes a little bit further away from this you can put one end of the safety system into this so you know just slide it and like that, you got this end hooked, and then you'll hook this end, maybe somewhere either on your camera you can hook it to, or somewhere else. Or if you want to hook it to this actual base plate, you can using one of these screws. So then let's say we want to hook it to the side right here. So as you see right here, I'm just kind of screwing it in. Just kind of screw it in right there. And then I can run this right through here to give me some security. And then once I have everything down to where I want it, I can just pull this string. And as you see right there, it's gonna, if this was, so this is, let's say this is down, as I keep pulling it, it's gonna get to a point where it's not gonna move anymore and that's gonna be your security right there. So in case one of these fail, you have this as like a fail safe. So it's very smart and very intuitive for them to build it that way. So you do have a fail safe, all right? And if you do want more of these, you can purchase them individually from iFootage. So that's pretty cool that they um, thought about that and, and created this the way they did. So you do have a fail safe there because you know, whatever you're gonna be mounting up here, if it's gonna be a DSLR or it's gonna be a mirrorless, it's gonna be pretty expensive. So you wanna make sure you have some insurance. And this is kind of what you, this is your insurance right here.
right guys so you can see how i have the camera mounted kind of right there camera mounted right there special shout out to ant for helping me out with today's video but we did a lot of uh we did a lot of we grabbed a lot of footage and these mounts did not fail not once i didn't even put the safety harness on and everything stayed in place so i feel really good about this dismount um, everything's still super secure it's not going anywhere and uh all in all very good strong well-built mount all right everyone so you saw the footage i was able to get with the eye footage vehicle mount and everything turned out wonderful um i thought everything that just was built great and it's built to last and i really do appreciate that um everything's metal construction everything looks good it didn't scratch up my car it didn't fall off nothing I got up the speeds up to about 50, 60 miles per hour, and it stayed on with both the GoPro and my regular um, camera. The camera that I'm shooting with is the Canon R6. It was able to handle that with no problem, no issue. So everything about this whole setup is great, and I'm definitely looking forward to be able to bring you guys more perspectives and different angles in my videos going forth. So a special shout out again goes to iFootage for sending this out, letting me try it and give it a go, and for the partnership. Um, if you are interested in this or any of the gear that I mentioned in today's video, it will be linked down below. Um, thank you for watching. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And I'm going to holler at you guys later. All right. Peace.